Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me James, hope you're doing well and today we're going to be talking about my ARK Survival Evolved Kibble Guide. Now a lot's changed in regards to kibble this year, earlier this year they changed the kibble system entirely and now there's only six tiers of kibble that you can get. So first thing I'm going to go over is um, the farm. Now. You don't need anywhere near as many dinosaurs as you did before to get the kibble, um, which is another good thing because it was clogging up the servers. But uh, the first dino you really want to be getting for the basic kibble is the dodo. I found three dodos has been as many as I've needed to tame with my server settings. Oh, you Tyrannus egg. Uh, we'll get to that. That's the top tier egg. Uh, the stego egg. I'll just uh, grab any that were around here. Um, also, we want to be doing the uh, pterodons. Um, their eggs, I, I come across qu quite a lot of them because I was breeding them. They're a good dino for speed. Um, the Argentavis, again, got us plenty of eggs. And most of you will be taming the Rexes in the end, so they're good for the big eggs. And uh, Quetzal as well, that's, a, that's good for the big eggs. So, um, one thing you should do is tame an Overraptor them guys increase the amount of eggs that you can get in your area. Okay, so you're also going to need a greenhouse and there's four different vegetables to grow. We've got the citronol or the lemon, um, the rocket root which is a carrot, uh, we've also got the savile root which is the uh, tater. What? Brussels. Lastly, we've got the uh, long grass or the corn. So there's four different types of vegetables that you can grow amongst all the berries as well that you'll need. Okay, so let's start with the basic kibble. Now, if you've just got a cooking pot, you'll need to add water to all of these recipes. But um, to start with, we need uh, fiber, meadows, the yellow berries, red berries and any cooked meat, doesn't matter if it's cooked meat, cooked fish or even cooked prime if you want to use that but uh, basic kibbles really easy to to do and you don't need any of the vegetables to make the the, uh, the basic kibble. Moving on to simple kibble we're just going to use the pterodon eggs you will need um, cooked fish meat, medjos and the rocket root Again, all these recipes are going to use fiber, so that's and that's the first recipe you're going to have to use um, your greenhouse for. Okay, so regular kibble. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use Anki eggs. We do need two types of vegetables. We need the long grass, the savile root, and we also need a cooked jerky. You just need to use oil and cooked meat in your preserving bin and that, that just makes jerky over time. Moving on to superior kibble, I'm going to use the argent eggs, we need citronol or the lemon, you need cooked prime meat jerky and mushrooms. So increasingly more ingredients as well as the sap as well. So with each tier it increases and with a little bit of difficulty with um, with what you need to be gathering. What am I missing? Why am I only why am I only making one here? Um oh, what am I not seeing? Oh I, I need uh, lemons, more more citronol. And there, there we go. Okay. So that's the superior kibble grab these bits back. Okay, so exceptional kibble, we're going to have to make our first recipe. Now this is a recipe I never really used to use at all until the update this year, but that's focal chili. Now that takes all the berries, the yellows, blues, reds and the meadows, any cooked meat, fish meat or just normal cooked meat and citronol. Am I missing anything? Yeah, just any cooked meat. And I'd say you will need water as well. And there we go. It's a focal chili. 
This increases uh, building speed and movement speed, but again, it's just one of the recipes that I never used to craft. So once you've made your focal chili, you will need medjo berries, rare flowers, and any large egg. In most cases, we've got plenty of Rex eggs laying about, but Bronto eggs will also do. And will Diplo eggs work? I'm not sure if they are classed as large eggs. No, I don't think they are. But the exceptional kibble, like I say, I mean, most of us will probably be taming a Rex army. Um, they're definitely the, you've got to have a Rex, so you're more than likely going to have plenty of Rex eggs laying around the place. And lastly, moving on to the exceptional kibble. First of all, we're going to have to make some Lazarus chowder. That's quite a expensive recipe. You're going to need cooked meat, taters, long grass, and narcotic in order to craft Lazarus chowder. But it is something you should craft as early as you can because it's at level 90 that you unlock the scuba gear and this stuff helps you breathe underwater as well so it's always worth crafting up plenty of Lazarus chowder and even when you do get your scuba gear it's worth taking a few with you because it just saves on wear and tear on your gear. Now the other ingredient you're going to need for uh, exceptional kibble is honey. I'm just going to get these eggs while I'm doing this tutorial. I'm just uh, doing some taming and some imprinting on some allosauruses. But uh, yeah, to make the exceptional kibble, you will need honey. And I'll just grab seven of these. Now, they don't really last long in the inventory or all that much longer in the fridge. So I tend to just um, leave them in, in the hive and get them as I need them. But for extraordinary kibble, we need the Lazarus chowder and the honey. So it is the most expensive of the kibbles to make. Um, so yeah, they went with a strange naming system. I always forget the name superior, exceptional, um, but the color still corresponds like it does with the weapon grades. So journeyman, master craft is for the yellow kibble and um, ascendant now counts as um, exceptional kibble. If so, we kind of go by the colors. Now, you're gonna have to tame Uteranus if you're playing on the island map, or tame the Hesperonosis, which is the uh, the bird, but I didn't have very much luck with the Hesperonosis. Um, I gave up in the end. But you will know if you check the wiki that uh, ki uh, creatures prefer at least one specific kibble, but also accept kibbles of a higher class. So, um, this means that, you know, effectively you only really need to make the high tier kibble. But uh, don't forget that if you are doing taming and imprinting and you're going to do some dinos, you're going to need all of the kibbles because um, a dino could ask for just the basic kibble when you're doing an imprint. So you're going to need some in the fridge and it seems a waste just to be using the exceptional kibble on every tame that you're doing. But at a pinch, it will work on everything. I hope that guide was useful. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more hints and tips videos. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you.